Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Worland Tactical. Hope you guys have been well. Man, guys, today was 102 degrees. I was gonna film a little earlier, but it is what it is, so we're doing some low light GoPro filming. Sometimes they say the lighting uh, is pretty bad when it's low level or low light. So hopefully it's not too bad for you guys. I do apologize for that, but I didn't want to sit out in the heat to do this review on our Maxpedition Wednesday Janus pouch. This is the pouch I chose today to do the review on. Let's get a bit comfortable in my nice rock. It's just kind of like an oxymoron. How do you get comfortable in a rock? Anyways, here we are, guys, out in the nature with Warland Tactical. And you guys, let's enjoy this. All right, so let's get into it. Janus pack. First off, I will show the two inch buckle that it comes with. It comes with a two inch strap. I don't have it with me right now. I left it at home, sorry, but I'll kick it in the video in a second. Flip in the top portion, flip in the bottom portion, sling your pack, make a bunch of noise while you're doing it. Anyways, so here you go. Now you have a frontal assault pouch, ditty pouch, whatever you want to call it, right in the front. Access you here, good to go. I chose the black version. I have married it up to my SC6. Everyone knows what the SC6 is. You can get these sheets with pouches, but you know what? Since we're doing a Maxpedition Wednesday, and I got this pouch just for this. But the Janus pouch is designed to go on a crossbody as an extension. So it has a two inch clip that goes this way and that way, male and female. Clips into it, and it gives you a standalone pouch on the outside of your your sling bag. It's a very cool option. You can. All right, here's the Janus. Here's the back sleeve for the connection portion. It's a two inch buckle. A Little bit of adjustment if you're a bigger, taller guy. So you wanna grab your, whatever sling pack you're using. In this case, for this video, I'm using the Monsoon. So unclip the strap. The pouch is gonna ride this way so you can open it and access it. So go to your sling. This is gonna be the male, the female end. So you're gonna need the male end pointing towards your right. So you're gonna take your Janus pack. Again, it's gonna open this way. Good to go. Take your sling pack. There's pile or hook Velcro right here, pile on the pouch. So you wanna slide this in through the sleeve. What I do is I put my fingers in between the Velcro because it is some sturdy, strong, sticky Velcro. So put your fingers through here, slide it through to where you want it, then press it down. Also, fit it through a two inch wide Cobra belt or whatever other belt you want to use. It has moly attachment so you can attach it to the back of a pack has a pass through here to put the belt on this side as well, or to put various items, maybe you want a mora in there. You can never just have one knife when you're out in the woods. One knife is not gonna do it all, I'm sorry. So you can shove your mora in there. This is the mora companion, by the way, with a Pantene. Pantene I did on it, see that? So that just fits nicely right and snug right in there. So on the front, we have our Maxpedition logo. A bit of pile loop for your morale patches or maybe you want to stack maybe another pouch on top taco the thing has a bit of maybe a lot um, shock cord stretches way out you could put various items in there maybe you have a jacket a small jacket it'll fit in there i mean that's a it's a generous amount you if you have one of these prepared 4x poncho shelter systems Shove that in there on the outside if you choose to. Cinch it down, cinch it down, there you go. It has dual YKK zippers for the opening. So again, like I said, this is married up to my SC6. So as it's carried on your hip like this, keep the zippers up white, and keep your contents in there, take it off your hip, whatever if you want to reach inside opens very nicely let's get a shot of that it's inside so right here we have 
a slash pocket with a two inch elastic keeper. We'll go over what this is in a second. We got a bit of paracord and my pocket tomahawk. So this kit I have, I got my fire, water, and wood processing all in one kit. On this side, you'll have elastic keeper right here, which houses my Aquamere water filter. That gives me 30 gallons of water, or it gives you 30 gallons of water, however you wanna set up your kit. Whatever filter you use. I like these, they're small, 30 gallons of water, good to go for like a day hike. Might get drink 30 gallons of water, but you get the point. I also have a backup folder. This is one of the Gerber Paraframes, frame locker. Very solid lockup, great for small woodling tasks. Maybe if I'm out fishing, this will do a better task at smaller items than my big SC6. I carry a Bic lighter, that's another point to light a fire if I need to. And I got the old Gerber Strike Force. And the straw in here for my aqua rear filter, which also doubles as my oxygen tube to make my combustion grow, feed the fire, like we talked about in the past video. This kit is not fully set up yet. I just threw some items in here to show you guys what I would put in here. Obviously, I would have a few more items. Uh, there is no first aid kit in here. I had one in here. I took it out because I normally keep it in my pocket. But you can easily, easily fit that in here. And I told you I would show you this. This is my Serve Crow. Get you a shot of the, the label there. So you guys can go and buy this. Serve Co. Pocket Tomahawk. Okay. So we're all bushcrafters, so pretty much stick your stick, your bit of paracord that I have set up, use the lashing holes, and flip your little rear tomahawk point out, and now you have yourself a tomahawk. If you wanna just do a hatchet, you can set it up as well. It has saw teeth, some nut drivers, a gut hook, or a uh, rope cutter. And then here's your ax head. It also has this little arrowhead. You can see, this is not chintzy, this is thick. This is real, real solid stuff, guys. This is a legit tool. Your arrowhead, which you can affix to a spear, or if you wanna make an arrow, it'd be kinda of heavy for an arrow, but it'd be perfect for a little small spear to hunt with. It comes in this little plastic case, which I don't like. I still keep wanting to get something a little better, just haven't done it yet. I like the nice slim design. So that's what I have in this kit for the video. I might keep it in here. And I chose the Janus pouch, guys, for Max Edition. Two reasons, because it's Max Edition. Second, because I thought it'd be a perfect pouch to marry up to one of my fixed blades that I would carry. Normally they have that little tin pouch, like to hold the tin, as he has, sells those. I didn't really dig that. So this is my option for you, what to use for your Janus. Again, you can strap it to your pack, your hip, or your knife. I haven't seen anyone do this yet. So here you go. And also on the bottom, there's a sleeve right here, which for now, I got my COVID pin, right? A little bit of hand sanitizer, but it's a nice spot to put a flashlight. I'll show you the, I think you can put a Mora in here as well, if you want, it's up to you. And again, why I'm showing two knives is because one knife really won't do it, guys. You really have to have that smaller blade like I have the para in there. That'd be great for fishing, skinning your animals, or some fine work with the wood. And again, you can shove a more right in there. Now you have a double knife option. I think the Janus is a fantastic pouch for this. I haven't yet clipped it to any other pouches. I like this a hell of a lot better. And again, this is what I got it for. So there you have it, guys. The Janus by Maxpedition. The price point is about 40 bucks depending where you go. I'll put a link in the description below. I use Moly World. And again, that's moleyworld.com. I will put that in the description. 
they're link i use them a lot because first off they have great shipping they're very reputable in my eye i've used them a ton so again they are mole they are warland approved and so is this pouch thank you again guys see you guys soon like subscribe comment below and see you guys in the next video GoPro, stop recording.